We are about 10 miles or so southwest of downtown Los Angeles at SoFi Stadium in Inglewood. Today, we're set for a good AFC matchup between the Miami Dolphins and the Los Angeles Chargers. Just about time to rock as Toe gets ready to meet Leather. And we are underway in Southern California. And we'll see a return here from the end zone. And he's probably realizing he should have stayed in the end zone as he can only muster a return to the 14-yard line. They'll run here with Raheem Mostert. And this defense feeling the encouragement. They stop him at the line of scrimmage on the first play of the afternoon. Call it no gain on the game's first play. And it's second down now. Defensively, though, they had a chance there to hit him for a loss. Couldn't get it done. Looked like someone was able to knife into the backfield, but he wasn't able to get him down. But his compatriots, they were able to grab him at the line of scrimmage and not let him get any further downfield. To his throw is taken in by Waddle. And he'll get this up to the 30-yard line. So first and 10 now from the 30. Going to the air, Tugavailoa. That one caught by Tyreek Hill. And he'll be taken down, but not before they reach the 50. From midfield, here's Tua. A uh, quick throw knocked away and incomplete. And not a common sight, at least on this drive. A momentary setback, though, for this passing game that has been moving well this series. Good thing for them, though. Still two more downs to connect and try and pick up another first down. Again, they will throw it with Tunga Bailoa. They'll get this into the hands of Mostert. And he's brought to the ground with another first down at the Chargers' 29-yard line. On first down, Tunga Bailoa. Catch made right side by Wilson. And he'll be out of bounds, able to get it down to the 25 there. So five yards here, five on the play. And it'll be second down. Clock rolling as we hit the midway point of this first quarter. On second down, Mostert. They'll be brought down at the 21 after a pickup of four. And this will be play number eight of the opening drive. It's third and short. Now Tua. He is going to find Hill here. And he is going to have the Dolphins first down as they get five there on third and two. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Up the middle they go with Mostert. And he'll take this one down near the 15. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Here's Tug of Iloa to throw. He completes it to Wilson. Touchdown! Cedric Wilson, a 15-yard touchdown grab. And the Dolphins will jump on top with the game's first score here this afternoon. Extra point up and good by Sanders. And it's now a 7-0 game. Chargers nothing. Jason Sanders to kick off for Miami. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. Taken in at the three. 
And he will make it to the 20-yard line and no further. Herbert and the Chargers now with a first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. They started on the ground with Eckler, and he stopped right at the 25 after a gain of five. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Herbert now escaping the pressure right. And this one taken in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. The throw led him a little too far. It brings up third down. Well, that was an interesting look there because as soon as he got outside the pocket, I thought he was going to take off and run for yardage. But what often happens now with these quarterbacks who can move, defenses want to try and keep bodies in. And the Dolphins rush gets home. Down he goes. On fourth down, Herbert. Free going down the left side. It's a foot race. Touchdown, Allen. Keenan Allen, 81 yards. And the Chargers respond to that opening drive touchdown with one of their own. No going for two. They'll kick the point after. It's up and good. So these teams match touchdowns here in the first quarter, and we're tied 7-7. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. at the line ready for their next drive. The offense coming back out here. Plenty of energy ready to roll. Looking to just add to what they have been doing after scoring a touchdown, Charles, their last time out. And that's a great feeling to have on the sideline. You know you just won the battle against the opposing defense. And since they came off the field, I'll guarantee you all they want to do is get back out there because they know they have the upper hand on that defense right now. And he's taken down but able to slip across the 35. On first and ten, it's Moster. And he still has yet to get on track in this first half as they're going to stop him behind the line. Quick slant, Tyreek Hill with it. And he's brought to the ground with another first down at the Chargers' 45-yard line. A gain of 19 yards. And the Dolphin first down. A run with Mostert up the middle. And the running lane's non-existent in this first half as they'll stop him behind the line. Yikes, a four-yard loss really sets him back now for second down. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half, and I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. Throwing on second and 14. Two. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Calling a loss of five. A big save to bring up third down. And on that one, the protection just broke down. You've got to have that leverage, don't you? We always say how one man wins in the running game for an offensive lineman versus a defensive lineman. It's essentially the same thing in pass protection. Get lower than that defensive lineman so that you can keep your balance and keep him away from your guy trying to throw the football. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Got a man, it's Waddle complete. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. A real letdown defensively. That was third and a bundle, but they allow the conversion. Tua now on first down. Tua hit, and the ball is out. And picked up by the Chargers. There he goes 
left side. The 20. And he takes it back to the house. It's a fumble recovery and a Charger touchdown. Point after here coming up. And he's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. So here's the kickoff now as he'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signal for and taken. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. That 7 0 lead of theirs short lived as they've now given up two straight touchdowns to fall behind by seven. Yeah, but no cause for discouragement here. Yeah, they've fallen behind, but haven't they proven that they can go down and score? So what was and that's caught inside the 35. And all the way in for a Miami touchdown. Jalen Waddle, 75 yards. And the Dolphins are able to strike quickly here as they are in for six. No good. And they'll remain down by a point. Now he's back out there to boom this one away, maybe with some frustration after the PAT miss. Taken at the goal line. Oh, a dangerous return man showing it here. DeAndre Carter, and he goes out of bounds finally, but they're already on the edge of the red zone as he returns this to the 20. And that's the type of return that puts a tremendous amount of pressure on the defense now. They've got to go out on the field almost like it's a sudden change, almost like it's a turnover. They've got to go out there and try and stop them, but boy, what a tough spot they're in. This is caught, and he takes it in for a charger touchdown. On the touchdown throw from Justin Herbert. And the Chargers are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. And no matter how it comes about, when you get good field position, you have to make the defense pay. Short fields usually make for good offense. Point after, right down the middle. And the lead is up to eight. Now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And a fair catch signaled for, and taken successfully. The Dolphins at the line, ready for their next drive. Well, partner, you know, coaches always say that every play is designed to score a touchdown. Sometimes that's not really true. But oh, this is intercepted, intended for Hill. Derwin James with a pick. And he brings this one back. It's a big six and a Charger TD. So this defense doubling its pleasure there. Remember, they had the fumble return for a score earlier in the game. And now this time, an interception return for another score. Extra point right down the middle. And the lead is up to 15 now. Chargers 28, Dolphins 13. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. 
And Charles, we'll see what they can do here. Not a ton of time left, but enough certainly to get points out of this drive. And they need them right now because they're trailing. Yeah, this is exactly why you practice a two-minute drill all through camp and at least one practice each week before a game. A minute left, more than enough time to string a few completions together, reach the end zone, and then make that walk back to the locker room just a little more animated. going to burn the first of their timeouts as he'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Waddle complete. Five yards. Now it's third and five. Only five on this play to move the sticks. Throwing now is Tugamailoa. Right back to Jalen Waddle for another catch. And they're going to get this down to about the 37. The Dolphins going to take their second timeout as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Looking to pass to him. That one complete to Hill. And he's going to be taken down at about the 33. And again, it's Tugga by Lowen. This will be caught. It's Waddle. And all the way in for a Miami touchdown. Jalen Waddle as the first half is winding down. And the Dolphins are able to cut into this lead in the final seconds of the first half. And oh, can you believe it? He misses another one, his third so far. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kicks away. A Oh, and miscommunication on the lateral. The ball's out. And I believe he was able to get this back. He was. Boy, after giving up the touchdown, lucky that didn't turn into another. I didn't do this in college, but I did it in high school. When you return kicks and you lose it yourself, the panic that goes through you and the determination to get the ball back, I don't even know how to describe it. And I think we just saw an example there. Yeah, and the relief when you get it back <laughs> like he did. Yeah, you go to the sidelines, you know you're going to get yelled at, but you can handle it because you got the ball back. The Charger drive about to get going. And with only nine seconds remaining, with not much time, we'll see how they play this. A play fake, and now Herbert to throw. Going deep here for Allen. And that is incomplete. A very limited time left to get into field goal range before the half, and they tried to get it all on one throw right there. From the 21, it's second and 10. A final shot before the break for Herbert. He finds his target, Allen. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. And that'll do it for the end of the second quarter. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. And how about this one out of the locker room? An onside kick attempt. 
So the Chargers will start the second half with the lead and the football as we're underway in the third quarter. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. This offense, Charles, had a strong first half throwing the football, at least in terms of yardage, but that hasn't translated so far on the scoreboard as they begin the third quarter here, trailing and looking for a little momentum. Yeah, you're right about that because, you know, let's face it, in the first half, most of their focus was in the passing game, and to their credit, resulted in a healthy amount of yardage. So I would think that at halftime, they're going to anticipate that defense loosening up a little bit to try to cover the passing lanes. They've got to get the running game going, and there should be some gaps to run through now. And the stop will come inside the five and the four. Looking to throw again on second down. Two, touchdown Dolphins! Tyreek Hill on the touchdown pass from Tua. And the Dolphins come right out of the locker room and score here in the opening minute of the third quarter. Well, after another passing touchdown, I don't think it'd be an understatement to say that he's in the zone, and I believe he likes it. It's a run with Moster. And he will get into the end zone to cut the lead down to a single point. And they're able to ground it in there on the two-point try. And you and I were talking before the game that two-point conversions from the 15-16 season, what has changed, what hasn't changed, partner? Yeah, I'll tell you what's changed is just your, no your normal strategy because now you're either kicking the football with the ball on the 15-yard line or if you decide to go for two, they put it on the two-yard line. So what are you thinking as a coach? Do I risk it? Do I go for it here? Do I try and gain a strategic advantage and maybe go for two early? That's what people are wondering about. Down, it's Herbert. Quick slant complete to Keenan Allen. And he's going to be marked down just inside the 35. Throwing again on second down. Herbert going back to Allen. He's got him again. And he'll be brought down at the 27. Running on first down, Eckler pushes past him. And a strong run there as he'll maneuver his way down inside the 15. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. It's Eckler again. And he'll get about three just outside the 10, stopped at the 11. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Off the play fake to Eckler, it's Herbert. Buying time to his left. All in all, no gain on the play, and it'll bring up third. Ben, I think he's just grateful to get back to the line of scrimmage and avoid not just losing yardage, but a big hit on that play as well. That defense closed on him quick and forced a quick surrender out of bounds. Going to throw on third down with Herbert. And this is caught. He's going to get a touchdown. Jared Everett, an 11-yard touchdown. And they are able to add on to their advantage. You got it figured out by the goal line. This is where a tight end earns his money in the high traffic area. And he's able to work free in the middle of the end zone and grabs that one for a touchdown. Now they'll line up to kick the extra point. And with that, the lead is up to eight. Makes the score. Chargers 35. Dolphins 27. Kick unit on here for the Chargers as they will send this one away. And this will be brought out from the middle of the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped it to 23. for their next drive. 
The offense running out, and they are charged up, ready to go after reaching the end zone on their last drive. And normally I'd warn against getting complacent just because they scored the last time out. But I don't think there's any worries with this group right now. This is a hunger group, and they want to keep building off of their last drive. Now they just want the officials to hurry up and place the ball so they can snap it and get back to work. And that nearly trouble, but it's incomplete. The rookie had it and lost it. And it'll be second down. Third quarter now from SoFi Stadium. Here's a second and ten. They run out of the shotgun with Mostert. And again, he's going to be stopped up right at the line of scrimmage. Right where this set of down started. They need a full ten here to pick up the first down and move the chains. And he fires one that's intercepted. And the Chargers are going to take possession of the football. So a nice play defensively by the rookie coming up with the INT. And that's a late round pick right there, making a first round impact. And a lot of these day three corners end up winding up on special teams and sub packages and even on the practice squad. But he's really made an impact on this defense. And he comes up with the interception there. Yeah, he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. A good pick up there on 20 yards. I tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up, not that time. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. Herbert will give this one to Eckler. And a hard work and run here as he's got it inside the 20, down to the 17. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Herbert operating from the red zone. And a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Eric Rowe. And the Dolphins are going to have the football at their own one-yard line. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. Looking left sideline, incomplete. He was trying to get it to Tyreek Hill that time. And that'll bring up second down. It's Tonga Vailoa from his own end zone. And that throw behind his man. He missed him incomplete. Well, so far on this drive, they've done some good work. They force incompletions on first and second down, bring up third and ten. That brings up the big question. Do they bring pressure or do they play coverage on this down? Facing the prospect of a punt from their own end zone, they need some cushion. Let's see what they can do on third down. to throw now in his own end zone. Throw right side, going to be caught here by Waddle. The 40. Pass the 20. Touchdown. Jalen Waddle, 99 yards. And the Dolphins are able to cut into this deficit here in the final minute of the third. So how about that for a backbreaker? Again, 99 yards. And how about the audacity of the play call? When you're backed up that close to your goal line, usually you're just trying to run some type of a wedge play, a quarterback sneak, a dive, anything to try and create some room and take care of the ball. But that's confidence in your offensive line that they'll protect the guy throwing it, and he finds his guy for 99 yards. I love what they just did. Touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. DeAndre Carter now from his end zone. 
And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. The Charger drive about to get going. As this offense takes the field again, CD, remember last drive, they were moving the football, but then they threw that costly interception, so we'll see if they can right the ship here on this drive. And doesn't that just sum up football? We see it all the time, don't we? The defense goes from losing the battle to making a huge play and stealing the momentum. So you know they're riding. Try to force it to Allen, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Jerome Baker. And the Dolphins are going to get the football back as time will run out in this third quarter of play. Setting to throw on first down is Tua. He's going to drop this underneath to Mostert. And they're going to get this down inside the 20. To throw again on second down. Tua. Oh, and Tua going to be intercepted for the third time. Picked off by Michael Davis. And the Chargers are going to get the football back at their own 17. And Brandon, this is a real nice job defensively, getting inside a quarterback's head and figuring it out. Okay, where is he going with the football? Because you can make an educated guess defensively, not all the time, but sometimes. And when you're right, you've got a decent chance of coming away with the football. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. So the line of scrimmage moves all the way across the 50 now as they come up first and 10. To the sideline, and that is a heck of a catch as he was able to get both feet in. It's another first down as they look his way again, this time 19 yards. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw no different. Yeah, a lot of people call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Out of the gun, Herbert. And this would have been intercepted if he could have gotten the feet in. Instead, it's incomplete. Boy, that really could have turned this one upside down. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. That's going to be complete to his tight end, Everett. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins' 14. That's another Chargers. Inside the red zone here, they'll look to throw. Got a man, it's Allen for the Charger touchdown. Keenan Allen, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Chargers are able to build on to their fourth quarter lead. So a heck of a drive right there with the game potentially hanging in the balance. A very good drive, and now conversion to make it a two-score game and a solid lead. And they'll have Herbert try and throw for it. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. Tough there. Good pass. Hit the hands. He just couldn't bring it in. And every receiver's coach everywhere seeing that play. Focus, focus, focus. Watch it all the way in and tuck it away. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And he elects not to bring this one out as his guys will take over at the 25. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. Still plenty of time here in the fourth quarter. Just a one possession game down eight. They'll be looking for the touchdown and two point conversion. A field goal here on this drive does very little at this stage. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. Oh, he's going up top for Wilson. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. I like the fact that he took the shot deep downfield. Even if you don't get the catch, maybe you get a defensive penalty and pick up the yardage that way. They fake the handoff. Now Tua. They're going deep for Hill. 
And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. I think we're both wondering if we're going to see them try and push it deep downfield, facing a one-possession deficit late, and they certainly didn't disappoint. They gave it an effort. Throwing his tongue of Iloa on third down here. Got a man, it's Waddle complete. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. That's one heck of a third down conversion, a pickup of 39. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Tug of Iloa working out of the gun. And he's got his tight end. It's Mike Kosicki. And out of bounds all the way down at the three. A very nice pickup of 33 yards. Two and a throw again. Touchdown, Dolphins! Tyreek Hill on the touchdown pass from Tua. And the Dolphins have a chance to tie things up as they trail by two here in the fourth. All right, now a big two-point conversion attempt still to come. Two are going to try and throw for it. Complete at the one. But he is not going to make it. It's a big play by the defense, and they're going to hold on to their two-point lead. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. From way up at the 23. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. The Chargers take over first down 10 at their own 28-yard line. The Charger drive about to get going. After the touchdown we just saw, we have a brand new ball game. And now look at the situation. You've got plenty of time on the clock. Defensively, they have three timeouts. So do you run the football here or do you throw it? I think you have that full conversation with your offensive unit. And you tell them, here's the situation. They got all their timeouts, so we are not going to play this conservatively. We've got to attack them. We've got to make them use those, gain the ground that we need in order to put this game away. If you think we're just going to run it three times and punt it, you got another thing coming. Yeah, I mean, by the way, also the two-minute warning in play, so essentially four timeouts left. They have to be aggressive here. Consecutive plays now where that offensive line has really created a lot of space. And we've seen the confidence rise, haven't we? It borders on arrogance now, and that's that good arrogance, believing you can run the football whenever you get good and ready. And not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. Once more, here's Eckler. And he's going to be brought down inside the 45 at the 43. 65 yards rushing for him now to this point. Two minutes remain, and that's our score differential as well. Two points here in the fourth quarter. So it's Charger football as we welcome you back from the two-minute warning. They've got a second down now as they search for a way to get this one to the finish line. Throws left side, complete to Keenan Allen. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins 33. Eckler now between the tackles. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right in a yard. Another yard would probably put this thing in the books in second and one. A give, Eckler running to the right. And he's brought down after a very nice game. Good yardage as he rumbles for 24 in first. Now the Dolphins are going to halt the action here. It's a timeout. As the clock will stop with a minute six left to go in the game. It's first and goal and a late touchdown at this stage. Could officially salt this one away. They're going to pass here with Herbert. And this is caught. 
Just how they do it up, CD. His first read was there, got it to him quickly, and into the end zone. Absolutely excellent execution by all involved. And the coordinator, got to give him credit, found the perfect play call. Quarterback let it fly as soon as the target came free, and his guy made a nice catch. Just how you draw it up in practice and then execute it in the game. So now a big play coming up as the Chargers are going to go for two. Herbert jet sweep as he taps it forward. And he is not going to make it to the end zone. And this will remain a one-score game as the lead holds at eight. 